Maggie, you're down 31-18 at one point in the game. What was the mindset and the message at halftime? Um, you know, we've been we've been down big before, bigger than that. Um, so we have a lot of confidence when we're coming down from being down a certain amount of points. It doesn't really matter to us because we know we get a few stops. We're going to get quick quick points. Talk about what changes were made on the defensive end of the floor at halftime to make sure you got those stops because the transition game really got going. Yeah, um, we pressured the guards a lot harder. You know, Alex and Ja did a great job of pressuring their guards for turnovers. Um, and then the post, you know, they were just, you know, making their post work. They had to work for everything they got. How big were those six points right off the bat before Minnesota called the timeout coming out of halftime? It's good, you know, it gives you confidence. You know, sometimes when you come out, you know, you're all hyped, you get going again. You know, if they score a couple points real quick, it kind of puts you down. But, you know, it gave us that confidence that, you know, the comeback was going to happen. You scored 15 of your 24 in the second half. What was different for you personally on the offensive end of the floor? Um, you know, I, I didn't have a great offensive night. I missed shots I usually make, so um, just taking what the defense gave me, looking for the pull-up more. What's going to be important tomorrow to make sure that you play a 40-minute game? Um, we need to come out better. You know, I think, you know, in this beginning of the season, beginning of the conference play, we, we kind of like had an, our MO was that we never started the game off right, and I think we've kind of changed that. Um, but tonight it didn't seem that way, so, you know, we'll be fine tomorrow. We'll come out, you know, playing our brand of basketball. Nikki, talk about your second half. Four for five from the floor, 11 points, five rebounds. What was working? Um, I think just uh, adjustment. We talked about um, halftime. I kind of took to, the, to mind and adjusted to what they gave me in the second half. How important was it to get those six points right out of the out of the gate in the second half to force Minnesota to call a timeout? Um, I thought it was extremely important. You know, us coming in, we didn't set the tone in the first half, so the second half we wanted to set the tone and continue rolling. Um, continue, like showing that we're we're determined to win this game. Um, it was real big. Uh, we always talk about when we're down at halftime to um, make sure we come out in the first five minutes and play real big. And, I, and, and once we did that, then like we kind of enforced our will, and that was really big for us. You trailed for virtually the entire first half. What was the mindset like yeah. at halftime? Halftime was to come out to come out stronger and um, just execute the game plan better because I feel like the first half we kind of was like one pass shot. So I feel like the second half we really was like trying to stick to the game. Coach talked about in the press conference about you playing within yourself tonight, taking the, the good shots when they were there. Talk about that. Um, that's when I have the most success. And um, when, when, when I play within myself, then I have good results. So, I mean, I just got to listen and do it. What's going to be important tomorrow night in the semifinals? Uh, defense. We got to play better defense so we can talk to each other. Because we're going to score points, score points, but I feel like defense is the key. Best of luck.